Welcome one and all to the world of Splatoon! Wondering what it's all about? Let's begin with this suspicious pool of ink that also hides a squid that's also kind of a human. Oid. Thing. Swim and sneak through ink in squid form. Then go from squid to kid and ink everything. Swim as a squid, ink as a kid. That's Splatoon in a nutshell. Let's dive a little deeper, shall we? Inklings have two legs, but bipedals can only move so fast. Let those tentacles do the work and zip through the ink as a squid. Leap out of the ink and use your momentum to get even more air. Walls can also be scaled, as long as they're inked. Going up! Use gyroscopic motion controls to aim your ink. From there, it's just like using a water gun. Aim, splat, repeat. You're now a certified squid movement specialist. But there's much more to learn about Splatoon. There are lots of modes, but Turf War's the best place to start. It's a three minute four versus four battle where the goal is to cover more of the stage with your ink than the opposing team. These funny cats, they'll keep track of the turf you ink and determine the winner. To shoot ink, you'll use weapons that look like water guns, brushes, buckets, and umbrellas. And that's just a small sample of your incredible arsenal. Inklings are highly mobile while moving through their own ink, but they'll slow right down when trudging through enemy ink. Reclaim turf by inking over enemy territory. Now, if an inkling gets covered in enemy ink, splat! But don't get your tentacles in a twist. You can actually get splatted loads of times and still win. After all, the goal is to claim more turf than your opponents. If you're not one for confrontations, you can just focus on inking the environment around you and still achieve a victory. While this ink introduction will help get you started, there's a bunch of in-game stuff you can do that'll really set you up for success. For some extra practice, check out these three modes. First, the test range. Try out weapons between battles and practice aiming at squid-shaped balloons. You can change out your main weapon here anytime, so swap as you see fit and find your faves. Next up, recon mode. Take a self-guided tour of battle stages and plan out strategies, or just admire the scenery. There aren't any opponents, so look around and splat at your leisure. Splatoon 3 also has a robust story mode that's great for getting to grips with the game. Play solo and go on a hair-raising adventure to fight the fuzzified Octarians. Get your bearings and journey through a story fraught with mystery and... Ah. Thanks for tuning in. Squad up and ink your way to victory in Splatoon 3. Out now. Happy splatting.